wildlife knows no boundaries, which means shooters are given access to some unlikely places when numbers become a problem. It can be football stadiums, golf courses, graveyards, and this evening, a prison. Well, we're here tonight just outside Sudbury Prison. Um, I've been shooting this ground now for about 20 years, on and off. Um, it's been pretty good um, for rabbits. We've shot 10, 15, even up to 50 on a small piece of ground when um, before myxomatosis really took a hammer in um, to them. So we're here tonight and hopefully it's going to be um, a good place to test the night sight out and we should get a few down. I'm looking forward to it. We're not actually inside the perimeter fence, but as close as you can get without having a criminal record. We have to be careful the sodium lighting doesn't give us away, but the odds are in our favour thanks to the night sight. Steve has an initial scan, and you never get bored of seeing those telltale eyes in the distance. As we work our way along to get within range with the Daystate Mark IV IS, the prison officers want a word, and Steve has to return to the truck for a chat. In the meantime, I manage to pick off a few rabbits while Steve's away for questioning. Okay, another one for the bag. So, you might be wondering why I've got the rifle. Well, the guards at neighbouring Sudbury Prison here were feeling slightly uncomfortable at two men walking around with guns and one with a camera. Uh, when they first came over, I thought they wanted an autograph, but apparently we constitute a security risk. So, Steve's had to go and sort it out. So how did that go? Fine. I stood around the back of the car having a look at the rabbits in the back. This is making nobody's kneels on for us, boys. And um, it's, oh, we're just not used to people being around here. So it's, yeah, well, don't worry about it. It's all good. It's fine. And they seem quite happy. I explained who we were and what we were doing. So Cool. 20 years and it's the first time. 20 years and the first time. Thanks. There's <laughs> <laughs> rabbits in this field here. Yeah. Hold on, somebody come with a torch behind us, bud. Unfortunately, that's not the end of it. Ten minutes later, Derbyshire police come and say hello. How are you? All right. Very good. How are Very you? Very good, thank you. What's happening, gentlemen? What an answer call from the, the yeah, prison the, next door uh, for the concern. The guys next door are a little bit worried that we're walking around with guns and a camera, so yeah. we're just shooting some rabbits here. Two officers ask us nicely to return to the truck and give our details. So, guys, you've, uh, you've obviously been called out to see what we're, what we're doing here. So do you have any other advice for sportsmen like ourselves? Yeah, it's basically obviously that you know the police are being called because uh, the location of where you're shooting. Um, we just, if you'd have basically just called, give us in the call to say that uh, you were, were out shooting in the first place, um, that would have given us a little bit of a header as to what, what to expect. Potentially, uh, when weapons are mentioned, then you've got the uh, possibility of an armed response vehicle attending, and the consequences of, of that, uh, if can be easily misunderstood in the dark. Yeah, it can be quite exciting when, when armed response. Well, yeah. it can be quite exciting, but then there's the resource of the armed response coming out that might be better used in, a, you know, where it's needed. But more to the point of, if mis a misunderstanding happens. It, the consequences potentially are very serious, obviously. Sure, so, so it's probably best just to keep everybody informed that we can. Yeah. Absolutely. Just just a phone call to the local police. Um, obviously, um, where, you, where you're shooting tonight, just to drop into the to the uh, establishment just to let them know mm -hmm. um, that you were here um, would have just, let's say, stopped Easy, any misunderstanding. Situation, For everybody, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Can, no, just no a quick call, that's all it takes and everyone knows what we're dealing with. But the, normally you see when I send Steve towards a gate like that, they tend to close it as he as he approaches. But no, that's good advice. Sorry to call you guys out on, on, a, on a busy night. Right. But the, guys, the guys at the prison here seem pretty comfortable yeah. that we're, we're here now once we introduce ourselves. So uh, yeah. I'll, I'll make sure I slap his wrist for him. On, on <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Much appreciated. Thanks, guys. Thankfully, the police are satisfied we're not a security risk and we're here with the best of intentions. So, some good advice to digest, followed by some humble pie. We're now left to our evening, and it's not one we'll forget in a hurry. Well, that was a bit of excitement. Wildy, call them. <laughs>